Hey sugar bobs and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video I'm very excited. I was a little nervous you know, around this thing. But I'm very excited to show y'all what I got. As y'all know by the title and the thumbnail, whatever, I got myself a label printer. Now, if you're confused, you don't even know what it's for. I started a business, I just started a business. The website is thesugarmixshow.com. I'll link my business series up here so you can catch up on the other episodes. Basically what a label printer is, is it helps you get orders out faster. Now, I've only had a few orders so far, but I'm manifesting a lot of orders because when you have a label printer, you can fulfill orders, like print out the, the labels and the packing slips a lot quicker and get orders out a lot faster than if you were to use a regular printer and either like print out the labels and like tape it on or use the little uh, sticky pages and put that on there plus you have to buy ink with a thermal label printer you don't have to buy ink you just have to get the thermal labels and you can print it out that way so that is what I'm gonna be doing today uh, it just got here today it was supposed to be here look I'm not even gonna get it to do it FedEx get it together okay but it said it was supposed to be here two days ago and then yesterday it got rescheduled again to today in any case I got it now and I'm going to open it on camera with y'all the most that I have done is take this tape off but I have not opened the box and I also have two orders that I need to fulfill today so I'm going to do a demo for y'all and print it out so this is what it comes with the packing slip of what is in here what it looks like in the box I got a roller printer um, for those of you who are interested in looking in roller into um, thermal printers or just label printers in general y'all know that there's multiple different oh, the box. there's multiple different companies that make label printers there's Rolo there's Dymo there's Munbin that I've seen is getting more popular there's a lot I decided to go with Rolo because you can use any kind of labels with it and it just seemed very simple. I watched a lot of videos um, of people using them, read a lot of reviews and all that. So that's why I got this one. And also, um, you can get this on Amazon or the Rolo website. It's cheaper on the actual Rolo website if you're interested in getting it than the Amazon website. So that's where I got it. It says no ink, no toner on the box. In small print. The fastest most reliable and affordable way to print says it on the side it's compatible with all major shipping platforms and then it has all of the different um, things that you can use to print with and on the back is there's the specifications so it's all the you can pause and screenshot if you want okay now I'm gonna open it and see what it looks like I'm so nervous. I don't know why, but just the thought of my business, it makes me nervous, but in a good way. Okay, so when you open it, this is what it looks like. And the thing, it says a better way to print. What is this? Questions or concerns? Um, a quick tip. If you are printing your labels on a regular printer previously, please change your label size. Oh, so I guess if you were using like eight by eight and a half by eleven size paper, and now using this, change it on your printing platform to four by six labels. Save up to ninety percent on your shipping. They have discounts with USPS because you can ship on the actual Rolo website. That's not what I'm going to be doing, but um, you can ship on the actual Rolo website with USPS. And UPS is what's on here. What is this? Alcohol pads for what? This oh, this is a. They give you some label printers. I mean, label printers. They give you some labels. I don't know exactly how many this is, but they give you some labels. 
There's a user guide, quick start. There's a video, and actually, I watched this video. They have it on Amazon and they have it on their website. Um, I watched that a few times in considering when I was considering uh, buying this printer. There is this box, which I assume has the cords, power cords, and such. Like a laptop. And then, on the bottom, there's another cord that goes to the, the laptop or computer using it. I like the inside of this box. It's a little random little thing, but I like the inside of this. Little graphics. And then, there's the actual printer. This is what it looks like. It's not super heavy, but it's got some weight to it. It doesn't feel super cheap. So it looks like the power button on the back, um, the plugins. There's this button on the top. There's a little switch on the side over here, which I guess is to open this. Oh yes, it opens this way. There's this inside, I guess to keep it. Information about the product. I don't know what this is. Um, and then it has these adjustable things for whatever size label. That's another reason why I got this is because if you wanted to use smaller labels, like if you wanted to label your products and not necessarily just use this for shipping labels, you could do that. I'm going to move over to my desk and set this up with y'all. And we gonna see how it prints. Okay, so here's my laptop. I apologize for the angle. I'm literally recording the screen because I don't know how to uh, record the screen on my laptop, so I'm recording it from my phone. So it says go to google.com slash driver. Phone driver for Windows. I'm gonna go to settings and go to printer. Oh, roller printer, printing preferences. I guess it's manage. The printing preferences. Um, advanced. This is go to advanced. Choose the size of your label. So I'm gonna go with 100 by 150. Okay, so it says open the printer. Okay. And load the label with the purple guides flush against the label. The label that you peel off should be up toward the ceiling. Okay. And close it. Okay. Press and hold the feeder button until you hear a beep. Automatic label identification. Okay, so I'm gonna press and hold, even though I think it's automatically set for the four by six label. Okay, so it says now all you have to do is feed labels in from the back instead of opening the printer. But I'm gonna open it and then re put these in. So I can use those and then it has tips on like maintenance and stuff I'm gonna try to print off some labels okay I'm gonna go to my Shopify store and print off the labels and the packing slips okay so these did not come out it all okay so what ended up happening was it was printing out like this I gotta cover up the address it's too small the ink is spotty and you can't read it and the 
the same thing was happening with the packing slips. They, those were a little better, but they were still not it. So I was just playing around with the code or whatever in the in my store, and I ended up to get it to print like this. It's still not the way I want it because the margins are too big on the sides, but it'll work. You can read it. And then I ended up fixing the packing slips too. And I ended up having to Google it because I was like, why is it printing spotty? And on the actual Rolo website, they have a support thing where they tell you basically the speed. The printers are automatically set to print out at the fastest speed. And I guess sometimes that might mean that the ink doesn't print out as clear as it should. So that's when I changed the density all the way up, I guess, to that's like the, the clarity or whatever of the stuff that's printing. So I put the speed down and the density up because I'd rather print out a little bit slower and be able to read it than it print out super fast and I can't read it. So I went into the settings on my Shopify. Um, manage shipping and delivery. You scroll down to edit packing slip. And there's some code. Okay, and I don't know nothing about code. I took like one class in high school. But the main thing that I did to help was so after after all of this, it's gonna start to look like this, like little blocks of stuff. So at the bottom of all of these kind of ones, like I said, I don't I don't know. There's font size. So I put that up because it was like at 15 before, so I put it at 22. Um, and then you can preview the template and it'll show you what it will look like. The only thing I'm still like, it's kind of irking my nerves a little bit is this margin around here. So if anybody knows how to fix this this margin, because I wanted to print closer to the edge of the the label so that it doesn't have to be as big or whatever. Um, just so to print better. I don't know, I don't know how to do that. So if anybody knows how to do that, can y'all comment down below? So my thoughts on this printer, my first impressions. Okay, my first impressions, this printer, uh, it looks very nice, it feels very nice, it feels very quality, very easy and simple to set up and to operate nice and simple the only thing that like as y'all saw i had to work out some kinks with like the the spotty printing but they actually have answers to those kind of questions on their actual website so if you have any questions or whatever i assume you can just go to the website like i did and you'll be able to fix whatever problem that you have i like this printer i'm excited to use it more often now that i have this printer i can um, fulfill and get orders shipped out a lot quicker than what it has been um, so to everyone who has ordered before I got this printer thank you for being patient and you know just giving me time to get stuff figured out if you have not already go check out my website it is it's operational but it's still you know needs some needs a little bit of work <laughs> so that will be taken care of and that is going to bring me to the end of this video my final thoughts if i would recommend this printer i definitely would it is a very good printer as far as i can see i haven't had any super major problems so yeah i would recommend this printer thank y'all so much for watching if you enjoyed it if you learned something i hope you learned something um give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you're going to be ordering what other printers y'all would recommend or whatever subscribe if you have not already and i will see y'all in my next video Warriors around, don't get caught in the mosh pit Fuel to the fire, ain't nobody can stop it Trouble in my city, but you know I'm across it Got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it